Hello and welcome back everybody. We return with a little bit more of this prison architect here and as you can see we're in a little bit of a bind because we accidentally let in a few too many prisoners but I think that we can pull it off if we immediately set to work on a holding cell in order to hold a few of them over until we can get a proper set of expanded cell blocks down in the bottom left. So immediately I'm going to want to set that up and start making sure that it has all of the necessities it's going to need. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Beautiful. Let's see, what other objects do we need? Oh dear. Running into that glitch where you have to enter a different menu before you can open up the full object set, but that's just a little quirk of the system. We have 12 extra prisoners, so I'm gonna have 12 beds in there. I'm also gonna to wanna to set up a bunch of benches. Can't set one up right there, so let's set mm, that one up in the time being. As you can see, we have this brand new spanking canteen and this new kitchen area. We have nothing in it yet, but we can work on setting that up soon enough. I think I'm gonna leave this kitchen as is while we're working on the, found, the um, holding cell, but I'm probably going to rearrange some of the tables and serving tables when the time comes because I think I want to improve on the aesthetics a bit and make it a little bit more streamlined, especially because I would like to bring it on over a little bit so that we can make sure that it lines up with the rest of the architecture. One big issue that we're running into right now is we have this strange hallway that is considered outdoors in the middle of our indoor prison. so going to want to immediately turn that into a foundation and with the doors there I can have a nice pathway up to this brand spanking new holding cell that is actually well on its way to being complete. Something else it's going to need is a bit of utilities so let's get them working on that. That should be all eight and I believe we are just about done with that. It could use another bench. Oh dear. People are getting stuck on this door, so let's see if I can get the door, come on, there we go, and lock it open so that I don't have to have a guard come over and work with that every single time. Especially because it's still undesignated, there's no point in keeping it uh, closed right now, so we can be quite alright with that. Put in some walls so that the lavatory has a bit of privacy, and those two benches should be able to take care of everybody. Again, this canteen is fine for now, but I'm going to renovate it a little bit later when I have the time. Meanwhile, we can set up an extra door to this laundry, and going to want to set up an extra door to this kitchen here that leads into the canteen to give them a little bit of space. Once we have that set up, we can... You know, we can actually designate this right now after I bring in the electrical cable because I'm going to want all of my prisoners out of this holding cell and into this one before night comes so that they actually sleep and take care of their needs, meaning I want to designate it as we speak. Bring that up and over. And I think the absolutely dire problem that we're going to have next is getting this another set of cell block oh, up and running come tomorrow because I really don't want to... Oh, speaking of that, I'm going to turn off the intake and make sure that this problem doesn't get any worse than it already is. I think that I have to add a pair of doors to this as well in order to count as an entrance. Let's set those up. Mm, will it work if I designate that? Yes, it will. This door is a little bit wonky. It's place going the wrong way so it actually opens the same direction as the other door so I'm just gonna replace that and hmm, I can't do it now but I'll make sure to redo it once we get it removed there we go now I can set that up and we kind of have a problem with doors in our prison in general so let's renovate a little bit and drop them all over the place we can also take them out of a few places where they don't have any business being. Dismantle objects. We don't need doors right here in the middle of it. And we don't need doors here because we're installing those other ones to maintain the cell blocks. Is there a jail door? No, I don't believe that we have a door set up here. There we go. 
I'm gonna want to dismantle this security camera. Does this need an entrance? Oh, that's right. Foundation. I didn't actually make it a part of the building, so that should set it up such that... Really? Really? Oh well. We can demolish the wall for the most part, and that should fix us up, I believe. Because I need this to start working for us. Either way, we're going to set up doors on this side so that we can have that coming right out, as well as doors to lead into this extra cell block. And just to make sure that our prisoners are going to the right place, we're going to de-designate this holding cell, make sure everyone heads on over to the proper one, turn the door normal so that I can actually hold them, and now it's time to set up the utilities for this side of the prison. We're going to want to run the wire all the way down about there and up there. That way we can space it out properly. Got a little bit of an issue with the utilities over the... Oh, not the small pipe. We need large pipe. We're working with fire over here. There we go. And I also want to bring it down so that it can feed into the shower once I bring that all online. Oh dear. Our prisoners are already getting a bit rambunctious, so I'm going to send a dock over there to fix both of them up and to fix up the guy in solitary. Our workers are on their way to completing the utilities over here, so I think we can set them up to build the actual clone of this cell block here in order to expand our populace enough. There we go. Nope. Oh dear. Let's cancel all... No, stop. Cancel all of that. Uh, the clone tool can get a bit wonky if you mismanage it, so let's grab that and place it there. There we go. That should overwrite everything. Oh my goodness, our bank balance is disgustingly low, so let's pick up a few grants. Crackdown on drugs. Ooh, that comes up right away. And a tool cleanup, which we can shake them down for. And now that their final meal of the day is over, I can work on resetting up this kitchen, air, this canteen area. Dismantle all those. Run that right across. Uh, did I dismantle that? Is there no wall there? Let's fix that up. Set up a concrete wall and make the canteen run just a bit over. There we go. Now this whole room is going to be utilized as a canteen. We have everything nice and set up. We are currently working... Oh! We got the grant money, which means we can take on another one. I think that the next thing we need is going to be a workshop placed somewhere around down here. So I can set that up, hopefully, if I have the time. But right now we need to work on making sure this cell block is up and operational, as well as fixing this area. So. I'm going to set up rows of tables, three across. That way, they've got a little space in between for prisoners to walk down. It's not necessary, but again, it's one of those aesthetic things that I'm really into. Set up tables against the walls, and all along the top. That way, we can have a two-wide hallway going right down and coming from either, well, any of the three entrances into the canteen. I like having that sort of accessibility. Those tables should be good. We want to set up serving tables over on this side of the room. Make sure there's space in between them. Again, it's not a necessity, but it makes the prison look all really nice. And now we can set up a ton of benches. Oh dear. Make sure we place them in the proper row so that they fully fit the tables. And now we can start populating them all the way across like this. Delete the three in the middle that are just hanging out. Put one at the end. Go right across the row again. Delete the ones in the middle. Oh, there wasn't one right there. And the final set of benches for this section of the canteen. Delete the ones in the middle and use those to build on over these three tables. So. That should be enough serving tables and regular tables with benches to serve a full capacity prison once I 
have everything set up properly and have increased these cell blocks over to the left some. Mm, still a bit of contraband all over the place, but I think that right now we just sit back and wait for our men to complete their building operations because we've got a lot going on. Let's see, any utility problems? No, I think that the utilities are all taken care of. Oh, that's right. We need to set up utilities for all of these new cells, which is a bit of an issue presently. Bring that over once again. There we go. And from there we can set up the utilities for the shower room. Bingo. Anything else need doing? Do I have the proper walls set up? Because I know that sometimes it can be a bit wonky. Yeah, for some reason there's a gel door trying to be set up right there when all I want is a regular wall and a pipe. That should set that all up. We have so much in storage and none of it's actually being taken care of. While we are waiting around for some things to do, I think I can spruce up this common room some. Let's see, where's the television? Right here. Make it a little bit symmetrical, dismantle this wide sofa, and replace it with a single sofa. And this common room could also use a few things. Set up benches for people to watch the matches. And I think I'm going to set up a line of chairs right on down the middle and use this for the alcoholics group once I have the programs all set up. Build a few bookshelves in order for people to entertain themselves. And this common room is complete. I think we can add some double doors to the mix to make sure everything functions all nicey nice. And that'll give our maintenance workers a secondary path over to this cell block because right now they're traveling between this frankly overcrowded storage room all the way up and around in order to access the cell block rather than taking a little bit of a short path over there but again right now we just really need to pray that we get these tables all set up in time the benches are coming in okay but we're having issues getting this all completed do I have yeah okay all the walls are in the right place so it's just a matter of making sure that they bring in all the utilities and otherwise it's actually pretty okay we have about nine cells set up which means there's only a few people actually stuck in this holding cell oh dear which is good and I think ooh, we might be running out of power that could be an issue going forward oh not bureaucracy utilities Let's set up a set of spare capacitors, just to make sure we don't approach that cap. Oh my goodness, our guards always seem to prefer this right-hand CCTV, when I want them to use this CC... Hang on a sec. Oh dear, I think that there's a problem with how I designed this room. This CCTV right here would be operated from this space. But it seems that the way the guards are optimized, that they always use the phone tap rather than the CCTV while they're in that square. Just how this guard isn't using the phone tap, he's using this monitor. So I think we need to actually move this monitor and move the phone tap in order to get things working right. Which means this is going to be the one I connect to all these cameras that we have set up throughout the prison. Just so that we can actually have coverage over the areas that it says we have coverage on. And that also means that I need to reset up cameras here and here in order to properly watch our prisoners. All that's left is a few utilities down here in the shower area. And the tables are coming in nicely, but eating is about to begin. Oh dear, I don't know if we have enough kitchen supplies. I meant to add a bit of kitchen stuff, but I didn't get around to that because I was focused on other things, so let's set that up now. Set up a pair of cookers and a sink, which is going to require its own set of water lines over there. 
There we go. That should handle this new kitchen. Make sure that it has all it needs and enough to run with our extra cooks. Let's see. Do we have the deployment set up properly? I think we do. The morgue, staff room, offices, everything important and out of door. Ooh. I need to set this out of doors as shared so that prisoners can actually traverse it properly. Let's see. This kitchen's coming up nicely. We've got serving tables, but we need actual tables for them to eat at, so... I'm sensing that we may have a bit of a violent altercation going on, especially since... Oh dear, why are they making a mess? Why are they making a mess? Let's set up some guard deployments in each of these cell blocks so that we have eyes on everybody. Take away one of those. Because it seems like they're acting out, and we want to get a guard down there just to keep an eye on them. And since we set up so many extra deployments, we're going to need to hire some more guards. We still have a positive income, but uh, I'm worried that we're going to start running low on funds, especially once we set up a set of workshops. Let's see, do I have extra maintenance workers? No, let's increase our number of maintenance workers. Oh dear, it's too dangerous? Okay, this is the ramifications that we're having. Prisoners are getting into it with each other, so let's send a doctor on over to fix everyone up. We did have a death, but I think that we can work this out so long as we keep a supply... Ooh, they're fighting, and that's not good. Let's see, how many guards do I have? Set up here. Two is not enough. Let's increase that to four. Make sure that they're being watched. Everyone does have enough to eat generally, but our danger just keeps going up. And that's what happens when you fail to set up your prison accordingly. You don't have enough space for everybody. People start fighting. People start dying. So you really want to make sure that you don't ever allow more inmates into your prison than you have capacity for. Unless you're working specifically with holding cells, at which point it can kind of work out, but I would never recommend it. We're getting our prisoners set up. Does anyone injured? No, no one's injured, which is good, because every moment that they... Mm, are they trying to escape? Oh, not on my watch. You guys can... I don't even care that you're dead. We can take you right on over to the hearse. Okay, finally, we've subdued most of these guys well enough to make sure that no one actually insurrects. Their danger level is decreasing because, honestly, quite a few of them are suppressed or deterred, which means that their danger level goes down automatically, even though... Do we have an injured officer? Let's bring in another doctor, just so that we can... Oh my goodness, all across the prison we are having issues. Let's heal them all up, because every moment that they are out and about with untreated wounds is a black mark against the prison so we want to get our doctors heading out there and fixing them up as fast as we can let's check our finances or valuation yeah we had two deaths in the last 24 hours but other than that we managed to hold them down rather nicely you guys get fixed up is there any okay we've got a pair of injuries down here and somebody in the kitchen but we can fix all that up Let's see, send a doctor down there. We have an injured guy in the solitary. So let's send one last doctor over there. And I think we made it out of the issue. We've got these last little bits completing. And so I'm going to set up the workshop that I would like us to have. Let's set up, mm, should be 11 across? Is that enough? That should be perfect. I want to set up a workshop here, as well as a second setup of the uh, electricity, because the workshop requires a ridiculous amount of power, which means I'd like to run it on an actual separate setup than the rest of our prison to make sure that power problems don't affect the entirety. Set up some staff doors, and I'm also going to be making an office for the foreman down here, so want to grab that as well, and I think this is going to be where I cut it after I set up the last few doors. 
Phoenix can take most of it from here. We managed to survive the excess of prisoners, and we are having enough money and income to keep expanding the prison, so I think we did good. Let's get this last guy healed up, and thank you all so much for watching. It's an absolute pleasure, and I'm having a real fun time with this game. It gets really intense in moments like this where you mess up, so really enjoying this. Have a great day, everybody.